Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the quick and easy way to add dimensions in AutoCAD. In literally just a couple clicks, you can dimension an entire floor plan dynamically and almost instantly. Before we jump into today's video, I want to remind you all, if you haven't already, to definitely sign up for my free newsletter. It's delivered weekly directly to your inbox, and it includes AutoCAD tips, career advice, training, and more, and all of that gets sent directly to your email. I'm going to put that link up above and down below so you guys can sign up for the free newsletter. Now, right into the video, to add dimensions, you're going to want to be on the annotate tab of your upper ribbon here. This is going to be the same in almost every version of AutoCAD. Now, the feature we're going to be using today is called a quick dimension, and I'm going to show you a couple other features a little later in the video as well. But to start out, the quick dimension or QDIM command, clicking it, it's going to ask you to select geometry to dimension. Now this is going to use some of AutoCAD's kind of smart thinking, and it's going to automatically dimension the object or line work that you select. This is going to work really well for things like floor plans as well as mechanical parts. Anything that has defined edges and vertex within the object, it's going to know pretty quickly where to put those dimensions to be the most useful and most accurate when trying to create your drawings and produce a nice product. So I've select an object there, I'm going to hit enter, and now you simply drag out where you'd like your dimensions to go. Now I selected this outer wall on the left side here, so clearly and obviously I'm going to want to put my dimensions to the left. I'm just going to drag it to roughly where I'd like the dimensions to be placed and click once. You can see it's auto dimension all of these objects based on this line here. Now, this same thing can be done on almost any line or object within AutoCAD. And in my case, for floor plans, this can be a huge game changer. Once they're placed, they are now individually editable as if you created six or 10 or 20 individual dimensions, but these are all going to be automatically aligned. So you're typically gonna to wanna to go in and clean a few up. You can see this one here. Doesn't make a lot of sense to be where it is. I'm just gonna flip it to the other side. And now you can see I've got a perfectly clean and dimensioned floor plan on this left side here. Now you're just gonna to wanna to go along and add a few more. This is where the dimension button up here can come in handy if you're just doing single dimensions. Simply clicking that one and hovering over areas is going to give you the dimension you think you need regardless if it's at an angle or linear. No more do you need to select the individual dimension types. You can simply use this dimension button up here and it's going to dynamically select the correct dimension for you. You can see that I have automatically added in these two dimensions up here. The same can be done if you are dimensioning, say, from one point to another. Simply clicking the two points is going to allow you to add that dimension line. Between these two commands, you can now dimension things in seconds and have a professional looking drawing without spending any extra effort or time with your labeling. That's all for today's quick tip. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals course. I'm going to put a discounted link up above and down below in the description where you can pick up my course that covers everything from drawing setup, template creation, layers, XREFs, and more when you're setting up your drawings. It's going to run you through the entire workflow, including packaging things up, plotting, and more. I've learned over almost two decades packed into a quick and easy to watch course. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it and it's discounted for all of you. Check that out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.